What is the temporal dead zone in JavaScript? In my previous video, I explained hoisting, which applies to functions, classes, and variables. And I mentioned that the temporal dead zone applies to the variables declared with let and const. i would leave a link to that video below if you want to learn more about hoisting. But in this video using examples, I'll simplify the concept of the temporal dead zone. A temporal dead zone for a variable in your JavaScript code is the area where the variable is hoisted, but inaccessible until the variable is initialized with a value so looking at this example here we have let my name equals decode now we know that my name would be hoisted but if we try to assess it from the top here if i run this file we have an error that says cannot assess my name before initialization so my name is hoisted but it is inaccessible and how do we know it is hoisted if i change this variable to my names and i'm trying to console log my name if i come back here and i run this you see we have an error that says my name is not not defined this is how we know that it is hoisted because let me change this back to my name by assessing my name on line one here the interpreter knows that there is a my name variable because that variable is hoisted but the variable is not accessible and this is where the temporal dead zone comes in like i mentioned the temporal dead zone is the area where the variable is hoisted but it is not accessible so for example this variable is declared on line three let me move it down to maybe line 15 this is going to be the temporal dead zone i'm going to put the comment there put the comment here so this is also a temporal dead zone and then for all of these lines here from 3 to 15 this is also the temporal dead zone this variable is hoisted to the top of the global scope but it is not accessible so everything from line 15 to line 1 is a temporal dead zone where that variable is not accessible the only point in which that variable will now be accessible is from line 16 and beyond from line 17 we have now accessible and we go to line 18 line 19 and so on to the rest of the code so if i come down here and i try to assess my name now and let's say i take this line away if i run this now you see it works so the temporal dead zone for the my name variable is this whole area in the global scope since the variable was declared in the global scope is this whole area where the variable is hoisted but not accessible this also applies to local scope in functions let's see an example i'm going to clear all of this now let's say we have a function called print i use print a lot in my videos you must have seen them a lot and let's say i have let my name equals decode and then i try to assess my name at the top now before assessing my name in the print function, let's say I try to assess my name from outside the function. If I run this, we're going to get an error that says my name is not defined. So remember, my name is hoisted, but it will be hoisted to the top of the scope where it is declared in. In the previous example, my name was declared in the global scope, so it will be hoisted to the top of the global scope. But now that I declared my name in this function, this is a local scope, so the variable will be hoisted to the top of the local scope. So I'm going to take that line now. Now let me call print. If I run this now, by executing print, we're now trying to assess the my name variable. We have an error here again that says cannot assess my name before initialization. Again, this is the temporal dead zone. Let me put some comments. So from the top of the function here, we have temporal dead zone for my name up until this line 15 where this variable was actually declared. This is the point where the variable can now be accessible. So now if I try to do console log my name, below the variable declaration and I take this line if I come here and I run this now we have decode so the temporal dead zone is the area where the variable is hoisted but inaccessible apart from just global and local scope the temporal dead zone also applies to block scope let's say an example let's say we have a block a block is created with open and closing curly brackets I'm going to steal this line from here and I'm going to delete everything like this in this block I'm going to do this. Now I'm talking about blocks. Blocks exist in if statements where you have if and then you have the condition and you have opening curly brace and closing curly brace. It also exists in switch. It exists in all statements that use a opening and closing curly brace. But I'm not going to use any of those statements here. I'm just going to use a curly brace like that. So we have a block. Let's try to assess my name at the top. If I come here, clear this and I run this, we have this same error, cannot assess my name before initialization. Again, temporal dead zone. So from the top of the block, we have 
temporal dead zone like this up until this point then temporal dead zone again like this like this the variable is declared on line 16 it is hoisted to the top of the block scope since it is declared in a block scope but it is not accessible due to the temporal dead zone so if i take this line from here now and let's say i come down here and i try to console log my name if i run this everything now works so this is the concept of a temporal dead zone and this exists for variables declared with let and also with const let's change this to cost just to verify if i take this back to the top if i run this see we have an error so i declare variables with let and const they are hoisted to the top of the scope they are declared in this can be a global scope can be a local scope it can be a block scope but it will be inaccessible until that variable is initialized the temporal dead zone of that variable is the area where the variable is hoisted the interpreter knows that that variable exists but you cannot access that variable until you have actually initialized the value to the variable again if you want to learn about hoisting check my previous video where i go into more detail i'm going to leave a link below if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share and also subscribe for more simplified videos like this